for staying with us so far on Good Morning Nigeria. Up next is Newspaper Review. Oh, I was looking through the papers there, lost for a moment. Okay, we begin here, well, before with the Daily Sun, but not before I introduce Chukwu Yokolu Baja, who, like me, is also looking through the papers already. Yes, but unlike you, uh, it had concentration. <laughs> it happens, Victor. <laughs> You're only human. <laughs> yeah. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah, Ray. Chikudi, good morning to you. You know, I eventually became the only one that pronounces your name properly. <laughs> Don't be too sure. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. So, so let's begin with the sun. Let, let me take it from here. And it leads with um, the major headline. One Port Rivers. Customs impounds 844 rifles worth 4.17 billion naira duty. And it has a rider, one, one, two thousand five hundred rounds of ammunition also intercepted. Details of that story you'll find on page 25 of the Sun. And then there is this picture story, which has uh, an element of it which has been trending anyway, but uh, that's by the way, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, fourth left um, FCT minister, and others. You know, during the official inauguration of the construction of Mabushi bus terminal in Abuja yesterday. And then just beside the nameplate, ECOWAS sets up committee to settle Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger disputes, laments terrorism upsurge, violent extremism, organized crime in sub-region. That story is on page 28. And then at the bottom of the front page of the sun, Minimum wage, 26 states may be unable to pay budget data reveal. That story is on page 23. And then pandemonium as uh, explosion rocks Zungeru hydroelectric dam in Niger. That is on page 4. And finally, Bronu bomb attack. Death toll now 32. VP visits Goza victims. You find that on page six. Yeah, Ray. All right, let's uh, take a look at the New Telegraph quickly now. The lead story here uh, has the kicker, terrorism. Declared total uncompromising war on Boko Haram criminal elements. ACF tells federal government. The riders says attack on soft targets in Burno bears tell, tell terror strategies of extremist group. State police will mitigate nation's security challenges, according to the Senate leader. We're not considering a new military base in West Africa. U.S. admits pulling out of uh, Niger uh, made Sahel region less safe. All right, all of that on pages 2 and 28 of the New Telegraph. Away from that, above that lead story, uh, we have other stories here. Tinubu approves Benway Taraba Link Bridge. Federal government says no explosion at Zungeru power plant. Of course, that's uh, contradicting the reports on the sun, uh, talking about uh, an explosion at the Zungeru power plant. Of course, uh, we just okay. hope we get the true picture of what uh, transpired uh, at uh, the power plant in Zungeru. Away from that, INEC will make 2023 general election report public soon, according to Yakubu. All right. Uh, of course, uh, we have here... Uh, Trump has uh, some immunity from prosecution, Supreme Court rules. Of course, uh, so much happening in the U.S. Uh, build up to the election. And of course, uh, we have other stories uh, on the front page of the New Telegraph. Just uh, beside the picture story, we have NAF, drone not helicopter crashed in Kaduna. Uh, so many refutals. Uh, this mm. happened, this didn't happen, all of that. Away from that, we have 80% uh, of Nigerians can't afford housing mortgage according to the minister 80 percent of nigerians cannot afford housing mortgage according uh, to the minister and uh, finally this uh, morning on the front page of the new telegraph we have this uh, caption here 
Buike Kingibe face off. You won't come back in 2027. Ex Rivers Governor. Ryder, minister almost acting as FCT Governor, says FCT Senator. Of course, this would interest you between a man and a woman. So uh, you want to pick up the details of that fight and uh, where it will end. <laughs> is it about the man and the woman? <laughs> it's uh, not about that's that. the way I choose to look it's at not it. About that. That's the way I choose to look at it. it. It's all politics. That's the way I choose to look at it. It's a political fight between a man and a woman. Looking at the blueprint now, uh, we have here the lead story. <laughs> INEC proposes 142 recommendations for improved electoral process. Please, could you allow me to read the headline? I really don't like the Did look. Did I say anything? <laughs> I need to be done with this. <laughs> INEC proposes 142 recommendations for improved electoral process. The rider to intensify engagement with National Assembly on electoral reform, says Anambra Guba holds 2025 AKT or June 2026 SCT Council polls too. Of course, not forgetting Ondo and Edo that, uh, uh, that's taking place uh, this year. Away from that, we have ECOWAS standing force will confront existential threat. And that's according to Ture. Ryder, Akpabio task regions parliament on collaboration. All right, uh, just uh, quickly taking one or two other stories uh, on the front page of the blueprint now. Above the masthead, we have Navdak seals 100 shops in Enugu over fake alcoholic beverages. Mm. Page 15 has that. Uh, interesting read. You want to see uh, the brands that are affected so you can be sure of what you're taking. And then uh, we have in the green strip at the bottom of uh, the front page of the blueprint, lawmakers to amend Ted Fund Act for easy access to fund. All right, that's the much I can take. Page 20 has that. Chukudi. Yeah, the ghost of a smile you saw on my face was um, actually to say that um, you, not clear this time around, are stamping their foot on implied female activism. But let's, let's, let, let's not go to you know, the funny aspect of it. Um, what is really the issue between Wiki and King Gibe? Uh, he's acting as if he's FCT governor. Well, he, the job he has to do are almost akin to those of the governor. It's just that in the constitutional arrangement we have, he, he is um, under the, the presidency. The, it's not the way the governor has reasonable autonomy to govern the state. And, Maybe and, and that's the point that I just make. And, and critically immunity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Criti well, critically immunity. No, but, critically it's, immunity. But, but it's about a comment for mm. me and for a lot of people, um, you know, looking at what's happening. The comments of you won't come back in 2027. Yeah. Did, you, it, did you read the story? That's, don't, yes, don't, yes, don't yes, be carried yes, away by the Yes, I have. Culture. I have. No, the, the, no, the thing is, you we know. have always had a tradition of letting politicians be themselves on this program. I pray that we are going to maintain the tradition. Politicians would always say whatever they want to say. Tomorrow, That's not for journalistic analysis. They, they could get Leave along alone. tomorrow. They understand one another. <laughs> that's the way they are. It's their clan. They could and get that's along why tomorrow you and I hardly ever fit in. Because we, we just we, hope the understanding that male politicians have is the same understanding male and female politicians have. It's, it, it has gone back to what I initially suspected. <laughs> it's okay. Declare total uncompromising un war on Boko Haram criminal <laughs> elements. That's Arewa Consultative Forum talking to the federal government. I want to observe that right from the purchase of the, those Tucano uh, aircraft, uh, under uh, Muhammad Buhari, I think um, federal government actually started showing some concern in terms of uh, the, 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 the riot, the rampage uh, terrorists had engaged in, in this country. So it is only being said so that the Tinubu administration would continue as it has already started to deal them a, 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 a very a, a hard blow because they have become an ill wind that, 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 that blows nobody any good at all. Insurgency, as long as it is there, the first casualty is the human beings that, you know, suffer, die, are maimed. The second one is that agriculture suffers. Big deal. You see, when people say all the money is coming from Niger Delta, this country is sustained by the Niger Delta, Insurgency has shown you that the food coming from the north is not something to be taken for granted. We are all seeing the effects of it now. So let us all see something, say something. It's not just a federal government thing. We keep on saying 
we can help the federal government do its work there, you know. There's this uh, funny one. Ministers, top officials, abandoned offices work from home. Their electricity was disconnected, you know. Mm. And I say, look, I don't know. I, I, I've not read the story deeply, so let me be a little superficial about it. But I want to say that paying electricity bill is something that government should show a very good example about. <laughs> it's very important that they, they go first so that we, the citizens, would emulate them. You understand? But then you don't know the circumstance. Was it not part of the bu bu budgetary provisions? Was the money provided and it wasn't used to pay the electricity bill? Well, we don't know the circumstance yet, but these are pertinent questions that need to be looked into. You understand? So that's what I think about him. Um, this uh, termination of contracts uh, by uh, Minister of Works, um, yeah, he, he, he's been doing the rounds uh, since uh, yesterday, but uh, I want to say that it gives me opportunity to say, hello, Dave Omahi, keep it up. Mm. You just asserted that the man really is an engineer, and uh, Victor, do you know what that tells me? There are some portfolios in this country, ministerial portfolios, that actually need relevant knowledge. Okay. And to hear that even people in FIRMA, it's become a meeting of engineers. Many of them are also professional engineers. I saw Dave Umahi talk to some expatriates about four months ago, and I was happy that a Niger minister could say, no, you can't do this. The man sounds so competent. We need to wish him well as he clamps down on people he feels are like a daisical on the field of play. Yeah. Indeed. And then One Port Rivers Customs impounds its 44 rifles, whatever it's worth. Around but 4 billion. This, this is 44 something. What? 844 what rifles. What are they? What, so what th war? This calls for they attention. What war are they preparing ammunition. for? No, 112,500 ammunitions, actually. No. Oh. You know, so th this calls for attention. Rivers is um, being set up for something very difficult. And that is not going to be good for our politics. It won't. Uh, well, not just politics. Um, I, 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 the, 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 the military people, the soldiers, the police, they have an unspoken uh, rule. If you lose your rifle or pistol to robbers, then come back alive. You know what they tell you? They'll tell you, it were better you died defending that pistol. Because between the time it was taken and maybe five years later, you don't know how many people would have been killed by that uh, pistol. So guns coming into Nigeria unofficially by non-state actors, being in, that is a cause for concern. What are they preparing for? You keep asking. Well, but let's commend our customs, please. Very important that we commend that they were able to detect this and actually, you know. Of course. Uh, we hope that uh, for other subsequent, uh, you know, uh, acts like this, uh, the customs will also rise up to expectation. Uh, there's this story about rising volume of non-bank transactions. Uh, and uh, the headline is saying that it is worrying the CBN. Uh, of course, uh, having... Uh, rising volume of non-bank transactions there's so many factors responsible for that uh, some nigerians have not recovered from uh, uh, the emifili uh, money issue mm -hmm. you know where you have to go to the bank and then you cannot get your cash yes the the um, alerts debit alerts from banks uh, whatever transaction you do you get debited whether you're receiving money you're sending money uh, sms debits all kinds of debits you know, of course, all of this uh, making a lot of Nigerians becoming uh, to become unbanked. Yes, and uh, pushing them out of the banking the, sector. The, 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 I the, want the, to. The I message mean, I get from that is that transactions are happening that are not captured in, in our monetary and financial, uh, you know, exactly, supervision and all that. Exactly. It is not very good. It's not very good in the sense that you cannot actually put a concrete economic analysis on the ground when you cannot warehouse properly the monitoring transactions going on in the country. You won't be accurate in whatever you do. And again, it doesn't help government project on, 
you know, development issues and all that. Whatever the reasons are, we need to go get into the banks. We need to. When you mentioned it, I thought you were, go you were go going to talk about uh, the online money banks now, the uh, uh, micro... The US. Yeah. The fintechs. The, the fintechs, yes. Do, do you know that these regular banks who were so almost arrogant about giving you loans are losing out to them now? You can sit at your uh, sit in your yeah. home now and take five hundred thousand from these people. Uh, regular banks will be telling you you have to do this, you have to do that. They better watch it. Uh, uh, all right. No, I, mean, I, I guess that's a good it's, place. It's, it's, it's that, that's a good place to leave the conversation. Actually. We're out of time. Yeah. Chukudi Okolubaja, thank you for coming. Yes. We'll see you again tomorrow. By His Grace. All right. Thank you for staying with us. Discussion proper on your state um, elections will begin after this break.